So here we are on my NVIDIA Shield Pro. You can see I've got tons of applications installed. And as you know, the more you use these applications, they all build up their app cache. For example, here we can see uh, Distro TV has an app cache of about 28 meg. Let's go back. We can see Disney Plus has about 14 meg. And let's do the big one. And we can see that the K application has 99 megs of application cache. Now you can of course go through all of these applications one at a time, click on clear cache, but wouldn't it be amazing if there was a single one click solution that would clear all of these app caches in less than five seconds and just ensure that all of your applications are working as fast as possible. Well, let me now open up the all new TDUK app cache cleaner for Android TV. Now, for the people that don't know, this is my first official application, which has been published to the Amazon App Store, and it will be going live in the Google Play Store, hopefully in the next day or in the next few days. But let me just give you a quick demonstration to show you exactly how it works. So I open up the application, click on open, ADB debugging is enabled. I click on clean cache and in less than two seconds, I can now press the home key, go back into settings, look at distro TV and that cache has gone down to just 81 kilobytes. Let's now look at Disney Plus. That's now gone down to 184 kilobytes. And lastly, the big one, which was previously 99 meg we can see that's gone down to 16 kilobytes. And the great thing is clearing your app cache does not lose any of your application configuration. If you've logged into your application, if you have settings in your application, none of those settings will be cleared by removing the app cache. And the way I can just demonstrate that is I had a couple of add-ons installed in this application. If I now click on open, and initially because of this blue bar, I thought that it's actually doing a clean start. So all of my settings, all of my add-ons will be removed, but, but you can see as I go down into my add-ons, all of my previously installed add-ons are still there. And even if I was using a custom build, all of those settings, configurations, add-ons would still stay in this application. All I've done is just remove the app cache, which means this application and really any application where you clear the app cache should perform that little bit faster. So, and as you can see guys, it literally is just one click and you've now freed up all of that space and you're now ensuring that your applications will run as fast as possible. So you can see guys, I am super excited about this because I've never published anything to any of these stores before. Let me now jump over to my Amazon device so I can show you the latest update on there. So on any of your Amazon devices, as long as they're running Fire OS 7, you can just use your voice and say TD UK. And in a couple of seconds, we now have my official application, which is now fully published and live on the Amazon App Store. And if I click on that, we can see some screenshots about the application. Now this yesterday was giving you an incorrect warning regarding the care application, but thanks to your feedback, I've now corrected this. And this just reminds you one more time that make sure you have ADB debugging enabled before you open the application. And if I just scroll down, we can see this is the latest version, which is 1.0.2, and it has those fixes in there. If I just click on download, let me just show you that if for whatever reason, if you open the application and it just spins, how you can quickly fix that. I can now click on open, Here's the application. Now, if you see this on your device and it's just spinning there for more than a few seconds, all you need to do is just press back on the remote once. So back once, I can now go down, click on connect, and I now see this prompt. So that's all you have to do to fix that slight issue if your device can't make that initial connection. I can now click on always allow, click on okay, and I now just have two buttons. And I am planning on adding another button, which is clean cache and restart your device. So do look out for the latest update with that. I can now click on clean cache. That's now all gone. I can now press the home key and we can now see all of my applications just have a tiny cache of just 16 kilobytes. So super easy to use, works on any Fire OS 7 device 
And as soon as the Android TV version goes live, you can then use it on all of your Android TV devices as well. So really appreciate your support and I'm hoping more of you can benefit from this application. So do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.